What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is a big day as you guys are all aware. We are painting the crew cab today. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on it. So I picked up the paint this morning. I've got everything ready. Um, I am, the plan is today to paint the cab in the front and then uh, two days after that we'll, uh, we'll paint the bed and the tailgate and the cowl and the, um, the volance. So I just, I, I was going to do it all at once but I figured I'll break it down make it more manageable since this is my first time doing it. So anyways let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to mix up the paint. I've got all the paint booth all set up. Um, I've got the truck all wiped down, so we're just going to get into it and start painting. So enjoy this, guys. So I'm going to let it flash and then we're going to drop the base coat on it. So looking good already.
All right, guys, I'm uh, taking a break. I've got two coats down. Uh, let me just give you a recap. Uh, it was kind of a nightmare, but I figured it out. I was honestly to the point where I was going to call it quits uh, and not screw anything up and just take it and have someone else spray it on. But I figured it out. Um, the gun just was not spraying well, and I couldn't figure out if the air compressor couldn't keep up or what the deal was. I was, I was changing the adjustments on the gun the fan felt tiny and it should have been really really wide and i just couldn't get it to do that um so i sprayed a whole cup um like that and it just looked all tiger stripes which you can probably see in the footage then i went and uh, the cup ran out i filled it up again and it started spraying amazing and i just couldn't figure out and so I started to think there had to be something uh, pressure related within the cup of, of paint. And there's a little um, vent on the top of the, the um, what do they call it, the hopper. And I, I realized that that thing was plugged. And so as I sprayed, it would actually build up vacuum inside the canister and it wouldn't let paint out. Um, so that was the issue. So you'll see in the second coat, you'll see me keep opening the top of the hopper to, to relieve that pressure. Um, my wife right now is on her way to Harbor Freight to get a couple more of the hoppers. Um, but after I figured that out, it took me about an hour and a half to lay that first coat. It was crazy. But after that, the second coat just went down super fast, 15, 20 minutes, much better coverage, no tiger striping. Um, so I'm letting it flash right now while I empty my SD cards. Um, and charge my my uh, camera and everything and then I'll go out and I'll I'm gonna spray at least one more coat maybe two and then we'll do the clear coat so that's the update for now anyways it, I was I was about to throw in the towel but I figured it out and uh, it's working well now so live and learn right that's what this channel is all about All right guys, the base coat is all done. I did four coats, because the first coat was garbage anyway, so uh, let me show you what it looks like. And yeah, I thought my body work was uh, pretty perfect, but turns out it wasn't. You can see like right there, a little bit right there. But it's okay. Like I said, not going for a show truck.
So it is time to spray the clear coat now. So I'm gonna do that and then it'll be done. I'll be done for the day. And like I said, in two days we will do the bed and all the other parts. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Like I said, that first coat was horrible. I almost threw in the towel and just said, I'm not gonna waste the super expensive paint. I'm gonna pay someone to do it. Um, but I figured it out and now it, the gun is spraying excellent now. Um, so it wasn't a problem with the air compressor, it was a problem with the paint hopper. Um, so anyways, let's get some clear coat on it. We're gonna do two coats of clear coat. The first coat's just gonna be kind of light. And then the second coat, as soon as that one gets a little tacky, the second coat will be a little more thick and that's gonna be it. So. Well guys, it was a success. I put two coats of clear on it and they laid down really nice. I ended up with like two or three small runs and a couple little spots with lint, so I'll have to wet sand those um, afterwards, but let's take a look at it. You can see that long run there, but that'll sand out nicely. See if we can get a view of the top. So I'm very happy with it. After that first coat of base that was a complete nightmare, like I said, I was ready to throw in the towel. Uh, but it turned out nice. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it's it's what I wanted. Um, the color is exactly what I wanted. It came out just as well as I could have expected. So I'm going to let it cure for a little bit, and then maybe later tonight after the sun goes down, uh, I'll pull it out and move the bed in to paint that on Friday. So uh, I may show a clip of it out in the driveway in the sunlight. I'm nervous for that. I'm hoping the metallics aren't striped. Uh, because the light's not great in here, but I think it should be okay. So if I don't show it to you tonight, I'll show it to you guys on Friday when I paint the bed. So we'll see you guys then. All right, guys, I am gonna give you a little update. Uh, I've pulled the truck out. So I'm gonna show you the truck and then show you some of the products that I used uh, before we paint the bed uh, on Friday. So here it is. Turned out really nice. I, I missed a lot of body work, which I thought I did a really good job, but I think I have probably the most critical eye because I'm the one who did everything. Looks really good with the tinted windows. So 
So I think I showed you guys there's a run right along there and then the other one is right here. So I'm going to actually go back by the paint store that I used uh, tomorrow and ask them for the specific paint I used. Uh, how long to wait to cut it and buff it or wet sand it, what, what the best way to do that is. So anyways, let's walk around it one more time. And it didn't do any striping with the metallics, which I was thrilled about because I was really nervous. After that first coat, it was all striped, but as soon as I got the gun working, that seemed to fix it. There she is. Okay, so we will paint the bed in the next clip.